So, Bottle Man G was surely a thing. It brought an updated building system with it, based on the DX system's foundation. However, they barely did anything with it, so building perfect combos might be harder to do on this episode of HyperTalks. A rambly video series where I talk about design, writing, oddities, reviews, basically anything relating to my passions and or profession. Because that's the intro! <laughs> yeah, that's right! <laughs> yeah, that's right! <laughs> It's finally time to create the best Bottleman Godcap system combos! I have already done this with the Prototype system and the DX system back in 2023. You can watch those videos to see what I did for those systems, and also gain some extra context for this video. But before I showcase what abominations I've built this time, trust me, these G combos are fucking homunculi! <laughs> I have to go over those pesky ground rules first. So let's just get that done real quick, shall we? So what are the ground rules then? Th there are no ground rules. Previously on HyperTalks, I would limit how many bottle men I would use, because they wasn't very building system friendly. Such as the vertical shoot as being very... themselves. However, in Bottleman G, not only is Decca v Tiger 100% compatible with the usual Bottleman parts, but also Cola OG is too. This titan of a Bottleman is more compatible with the DX and G systems than Raid Brave is. How? What? Huh? Take a shot every time J5 complains about fucking Raid Brave on this channel, you'd be dead. So, there's no bottle men I have to take out of the picture this time around. Everyone is here. Everyone is viable. Another rule I had is no mixing cores. Basically, taking the core apart and mixing the frame and whole parts. However, since Kuro G introduced the multi-core with Spraining G and Cobalt Bottle Fire G also using them, we have no need to mix and rebuild cores. We already have perfect cores if we need them. There's only really one unique core in G anyways, Samich G's one hand trigger. So there really is no need to mix around hold parts and core frames. Plus with the way that G cores split in half, we can just attach a multi-core front onto Samage G's trigger. If I want power hold parts, barrel access, magazine access, and the one hand trigger all in one core. You don't really need to disassemble and reassemble cores like you might have to with the prototype or the DX systems, cause G just, well it just gave us a perfect core so why fucking bother at that rate? My point is, the rules from before are no more. Everything is now doable. But I am gonna limit myself to just G parts. I'm only going to use G bottle men for the G custom builds, just to keep things more focused. I know that DX parts can go on G cores, but I'm sticking with G parts. Again, I just want to keep things more focused. Keep things within the Godcap system and not branch out into DX. There is a clarification I want to go over, however. Sprightning G and Wellscrate G. I do not own these figures, but I own the figures that create these two combo builds. These two bottle men are basically official custom builds. They are made out of already existing Bottleman parts from both G and DX. So if you see me using, say, Arrowsider DX's body parts on a custom, it's a stand-in for Welsh Great G's body parts. Is that good with you? It's good with me. I'm not using Arrowsider, I'm using quote-unquote Welsh Great. <laughs> So, after all of that rambling, let's get this video started. Let's get to building! So what are the power type bottle men in Bottleman G? Well, they are Dragger G, Cobalt Bottle G, Kuro Ryuo G Power Mode, Bottle Phoenix G, Cobalt Bottle Fire G, and Dragger G Big Rush Mode. Believe it or not, Kuro Ryuo G in any of its modes isn't the answer to any of these perfect custom builds. While he does contribute to a lot of them, he himself isn't them, if that makes sense. 
since we're talking about the power type combo, Kuro's power mode isn't the perfect power type build, if that makes a little bit more sense. So what is the perfect power type combo? What is Bottle Phoenix G doing here? Oh, is he it? Well, he is a pretty strong power type. He uses all the right components. Power core, power boosting arms, a stable leg part, because more stability means the user can add more power. I don't know though, he's like a worse Kolomaru Energy DX. What the fuck is that thing? This is Powered Soda G. What are those legs? I would say Sakura, my fish would slap me again. <laughs> and what the neck do? Okay, let me explain. Bottle Phoenix G, or Kuro Power Mode, is actually themselves already pretty great power type bottle men if you need something more basic. However, we all know my perfect combos are just the weirdest. So here we have this abomination. Bottle Sphinx's core, Koma O's head and legs, Welsh Great's arms in grip mode, and using metal caps for his god cap. So you might be asking me, why, what, and how? Well, first off, G is missing one very important piece that I would use for my power combos. A horizontal drive strip. We only have vertical drive strips in G. Weirdly enough, you had the perfect opportunity to introduce it with Cobalt Bottle Fire G, but whatever. We only have vertical drive cores in Bottle Man G. Drive strips do boost power after all, so why not have all three of them? The one that Bottle Sphinx has, and the two that Cola O has. Plus, the Bottle Sphinx core has a head tilting gimmick to add power to shots. So I've added another power type gimmick to this custom. I use Cola O's head because it's a bit like a joystick. You know, it's, it's something to grab. You grab this bitch by the neck and pull back. Sometimes, sometimes I forget what I write in these scripts and then I make myself giggle when I come across the wire. You grab this bitch by the neck and pull back! By also using Welsh Great G's arm wings to grip the bottle man, you'll have a much easier time using this power adding gimmick. Oh my god, how are you meant to do this? Wow. <laughs> Charging this point via the head is harder than it should be. Well, relatively anyways, I still kind of suck at it, but whatever. And as for those thick thunder thighs for legs, well, two more drive cores can't hurt, right? I fucking missed! <laughs> when in doubt, throw him. When in doubt, just no! Big enough to be his own projectile, let's be real. His god cap is the metal cap, because metal caps tend to be associated with power types, like Fujin Black and Bottle Phoenix G. I'm sure a weight boosted standard cap would work just as well, sadly we just can't add a weight booster to the metal caps, given it just doesn't fit in there with the extra moulding needed to add the metal plate on top. The footage is showing you what I mean. Did you see it? Did you see it? So, so why not the big caps then? Well, the big cap is able to knock down more targets. It isn't really that much stronger, especially since both the big cap launcher and the big cap core aren't exactly the strongest cores. Plus. If I did try to make a combo based on the big cap, I wouldn't have the droid strips or mega cannon wings to work with. Two even better power type gimmicks than the big caps. I prioritize those two over the big caps because I, I think big caps are just, they're just fine. They're not super strong like, oh, I don't know the drive strips. This guy is 100% insane. I know, but this is my pick for the best power type combo in Bottleman G, given, well, the lack of drive strips. Given the limited selection we have in G in the first place, it's this thing, or worse, Kolomaru Energy DX. Pick your poison, I guess, I don't know. I picked Thunderfies over there. 
doesn't remind me of a certain someone or anything. What do you think of Powered Soda G? Let me know in the comments below. So what are the speed type bottle men in Bottleman G? They are Sam Edge G, Bottle Wyvern G, Kuro Wiro G Speed Mode, and um Bottle Rakuso G? Sure, we'll call him that. I don't know how to pronounce his actual name, but that's only two bottle men, Samets and Kuro. The others are just recolors of them two. I don't even know if Kuro should count since he's all types. Uh, I don't. Oh my god. Anyways, Bottleman G, am I right? While Kuro's speed form is pretty good for a speed type focus build, we can make this so much better. By using Samage G's core and the two way magazine, Kuro's magazine, arms, and the small cap launcher, with the combo's gob caps being both the speed cap and small caps, we can create Speeding Water G. By using the one-hand trigger at the back of the core, we have a free hand to load caps into the curved entrance to go down into Kuro's base magazine. The small cap launcher also gives us some extra caps to use when needed. All of this together makes this guy's capacity an 8. The bottle man itself being able to use 5, with the addition of 3 small caps. Well, Straight G's magazine could be used on this custom as well, to add more capacity with the cartridges, but it's less smooth to use this magazine. Plus, once you've used up the cartridges, that's it. You can't really reload them mid-match. These two cartridges are one-time use. I mean, you might win before you would even need to reload, but eh, uh, whatever. It is a second option if you would prefer it. I prefer the more fluid gameplay the two-way magazine gives. The same reason why I choose the speed caps and not the light caps. I just feel like the light caps are just worse than the speed caps. The light caps don't seem to go any faster than the speed caps despite having less material, which is what makes the speed caps faster than normal caps. The less material. I don't know, speed caps have always been good old reliable for me, so I'm gonna stick with them. This bottle man is designed to be a one-handed speed house. Like a powerhouse, but for speed, yeah. And you know what? I think I did a pretty good job, despite how little stuff we had to work with here. So what do you think of speeding Water G? Let me know in the comments below. So what are the control type bottle men in Bottleman G? They are Deca V Tiger G, Kuro Ryuo G Control Mode, Bottle Sphinx G, and uh, Bottle Bakuso G. Yeah, I know names! So like, let's be real here, what the fuck are these? Deca V Tiger and Bottle Sphinx especially shouldn't be control types. They are power types, given that vertical cores are very powerful and have historically been power typed cores. Bottle Sphinx G has a drive strip for god cap's sake. I used him for the power combo. And then there's Kuro having power hold parts in his core, making his control form and Bottle Bakuso have power pressure access thanks to the spikes. Plus, power hold parts are just thicker than control hold parts anyway, so that also makes it stronger. My point is... <laughs> There isn't any proper pure control types in the G system. But with all that said, we can still assemble a perfect control type combo. It will just have a bit of a kick behind it thanks to the power hole parts. The easiest build to do is just to put Welsh Great G into its tri arrow mode with a multi core and slap Spraining G's long barrel onto it. Oh yeah, the DX custom set's long barrel is going to be a stand-in for Sprightning G's long barrel. Again, put up with it, I don't have Sprightning G or Welsh Great G. You'll have a pretty good stabilizer and grips. Very important components to making a good control type. However, you don't need tri arrow mode. You would want the grip and stability modes. You don't need the barrel mode when you have Sprightning G's barrel. But, and there's always a but, there is one extra addition I would like to add onto controlling Beverage G. Deca V Tiger's head with Cobalt's horn. This horn makes a pretty great aiming sight. 
line of shots with the upright horn and fire. Since the gem port on Deca V Tiger's head is pretty much horizontal, the horn sticks upwards vertically instead of diagonally like how it's meant to on the different Cobalt Bottlemen. Y you can see the footage, you see that that figure sticking right up. Now you have a solid bottle man with a good grip, stability, a barrel, and an aiming sight. Something that we really haven't had a good one of since Sparkling Night from the prototype system. That was like, what, two or three years ago now? What the fuck? I hate how time moves. I hate how time... times. <laughs> I could have used Kuro's arms given they are also wing grips but they kind of hurt to hold since the wing tips can poke into your hands. You have to hold it a certain way and you know what, that's kind of uncomfy, I'm gonna admit. I guess the Kuro Arms version could be a budget version for those who only own one Welsh Grey, but hey, I guess you could attach the Kuro Dragon Barrel onto the front of the Sprightning G Barrel for more... Barrel. <laughs> Sprightling G without his magazine and the Decker plus Cobalt head combo would also be a pretty good candidate for controlling Beverage G, given it has a very stable set of leg parts, but the grip on this guy isn't as good as the Welsh Great Wings. As for the God Cap, while there is a control based God Cap, the Vertical Cap, that only really works on vertical cores, otherwise it's just like a normal bottle cap. Bottle Bakuso G has a weight boosted normal cap, so I guess that's what we'll use for this combo too. It's like the closest thing we have, I guess, I don't know. Quite the odd bottle man this is, isn't it? It's basically Arrow Cider with a couple of extra parts. I mean, come on, Arrow Cider is like the best control type bottle man. There's no contest, really. But what do you think of controlling Beverage G? Was one of the alternate versions a better idea for this? Who knows? Let me know in the comments below. Even with an aiming sight, I can't aim. So, what are the multi-type bottle men in Bottleman G? Well, it's Kuro Ryuo G's perfect mode, Cola OG, Sprightning G, and Welsh Great G. Although, Cobalt Bottle Fire G has a multi-core, so shouldn't he count too? Cobalt Bottle Fire G is a power type, but since he has a multi-core, uh, maybe? I mean, I did use a control type body for the power type combo, so I guess it doesn't really matter. It's whatever works. Either way, it is now time to create the best of the best with the parts that we were given in Bottleman G. Unlike with the DX system, we don't need to bullshit our way around trying to give this Bottleman aspects of every type. Thanks to the new multi-cores introduced by Kuro, we can make a Bottleman who has it all. In fact, Kuro's perfect mode is the shining example of what a perfect Bottleman is. He has a barrel, magazine, power arms, and a power core. A bottle man with power, accuracy, and capacity. However, we can do better than this. Let's use Cobalt Bottle Fire G as our base. Seeing as the solid plastic is more stable and won't break as easily, Kuro, let's attach Sprightning G's barrel onto the front. Let's replace Kuro's magazine topper with Samage G's two-way magazine. Let's give him Welsh Great G's legs in stability mode because they're a lot more solid than the flimsy strips that Kuro's legs have. And here, here we have Blended Punch G. Basically what I've done here is take what already worked with Kuro Multi Mode and made it better. If you want a bit better reloading capabilities, replace the back of the core with the one hand trigger. This does make holding this guy two handed much harder given how much longer the trigger is, and how wide the mega cannon wings are, but it is kinda doable. Gripping onto the wings does help give it more power since you're pushing onto what would flex outwards, those like pads on the side, whatever you wanna call them. So if you have the one hand trigger you're not gonna be squeezing onto the wings, but eh. Either version here is powerful, fast, stable, and accurate. You know, if you're even good at shooting these things. 
I've never been the best with my accuracy. Oh! Magazine came off. This combo is just too powerful. And of course the magazine falls off. What about the god cap though? How about we just give him all of them? A speed cap, a weighted cap, and a metal cap. If he's meant to be all types at once, why not give him all god caps? Maybe this isn't all of them, but this is all he needs. There's not really that much else to say that isn't obvious by now. The feet provide stability, the arms add a lot of power, the barrel and magazine add support for control and speed. This thing really is the perfect G Bottleman. Blended Punch DX wishes it could be its G version. So what do you think of Blended Punch G? The ultimate Bottleman custom! Let me know in the comments below! Despite the lacking number of original Bottlemen within the Godcap system, I did manage to make Bottleman combos that not only worked very well with their respective type specialities, but I would argue that they rival and even surpass their DX versions. I'm not comparing these to the prototype system versions because that's just an entirely different building system. It wouldn't be fair to compare the two. The powered sodas are just two different beasts entirely, so I can't really say which one is better than the other. They're just too different. Speeding Water DX and G are both pretty good, but I do think the G one is better thanks to the two-way magazine and the much comfier one-handed grip. Both controlled beverages are basically the same bottle man, really. G is better though, because it's stronger, thanks to the power hole parts, and the head has a much better aiming sight. Blended Punch G fulfills its role as a perfect bottle man combo much better than Blended Punch DX. This is all thanks to G's multi-cores. Blended Punch G has power, capacity, stability, and accuracy, all in one. Too bad G's quality control sucks, am I right? But hey, do you think I did a good job here with these wild combos? Powered Soda G, Speeding Water G, Controlling Beverage G, and the Grand Star, Blended Punch G. Let me know in the comments below. Some of you may be thinking, since the DX and G systems are compatible with each other, what if I made custom builds involving all of DX and G? The best GX Bottleman combos. Well, I was actually going to include it in this video. I might make that its own shorter video at some point. I am trying to make my video shorter this year. More compact, in a sense. I no longer videos tend to do better, but my mental health doesn't do better with it, so ha! So be sure to look forward to whatever insane combos I might end up making in the future, using everything that both DX and G provides. But that's for later. I'm pretty much making three Bottlemen hypertalks in a row, the tier list, this video, and Rise Speeder G, so I'll make some fresher stuff first before I come back to this. Give this video a like and give me a comment if you want to see the best GX builds. Cause I will do it, but later. Quite a bit later. Again, I want to do a couple of different things after this Bottleman marathon here. Speaking of likes, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell. Because that was a smooth transition, wasn't it? It's important feedback for my content and helps me out in the YouTube algorithm and all that stuff. Yeah, you get it. YouTube is a bitch. Follow me on Twitter or Blue Sky at J5 the Hyperforce to keep up to date with whatever projects I'm working on, or teasing upcoming content, shit posting, whatever else I do. Just keep up with me, I guess. I don't know. If you have any fan arts to send me, like maybe of my own custom bottle and rise speeder, my mascot, Sakura Yui, or anything else relating to me, send them to me on Twitter, or Blue Sky, or whatever, at JFO the Hyperforce, and I will feature them within the next video I am editing at the time. Don't forget to check out my video game, Our Matalum Showdown, the visual novel with a battle system. If you like Bottleman, you will love Our Matalum. I'd argue that Our Matalum is better than Bottleman. <laughs> It's the same kind of thing! If you like my Bottleman custom builds, the Army 
take gears in our battle and are sure to impress. And with all that said and done, this has been J5 the Hyperforce. I'll see you whenever next. Till then, ready cap? Ready cap's more like an intro than an outro, but whatever, I've already said it. Bye! <laughs>